How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. So, hello my friends and welcome to Biomutant. Welcome to Biomutant. I said this already. Okay, so, we are going to start a new game, of course. New slot. And you know I'm a casual gamer, so I'm going for easy. I'm very sorry if you don't like this, but I really like to enjoy story. Encode your DNA. Okay, so choose breed. Okay. It's always. Yeah, I don't know. I like this, the face here. Okay. I really always struggling. So this has more intellect, but this has more health and stuff and whatsoever. Ay 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 ay. Very hard to. But maybe I'm really going for this one here. Confirm. Okay. Attributes. Okay. We have to define your our. genetic structure. Ah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Vitality. Oh. Okay. Cool. Um. Wow, okay, this is... So you can actually change it how you like it. So what are we going to do? I have no idea because uh, maybe intellect is very important. KI, energy, power, energy, region, Regen. Okay. Well, maybe strength is more important. Hmm. Or maybe going for the golden middle and oh my god it's so hard to decide this looks looks ugly I'm not doing this there's a little bit too much I really don't know really but I I tend more like this you know what I mean more like this okay let's keep it like this for now maybe here choose a genetic resilience oh, okay heat biohazard cold radioactive so this is where I have more defense or resistance yeah of course let's do this choose your first style my first style ah That's okay. Pick your main color. My main color? Oh, for sure not green. Choose your detail color. <laughs> That's okay. Pick a class. Commando. Oh. Deadeye. Mercenary. So now I can select the class. Okay. Deadeye. Commando. Freak. Okay, you know what I don't understand, so now I'm choosing if I have Psy Freak I need more intellect or not. Uh, Sap Sentinel. But Sap now I, I already selected my Okay, I don't get it, but anyway. Commando. Dead mercenary. Okay, mercenary. Dead you know. Dead Commando. Mm, this looks good. Freak. I mean this looks actually really good. Your KI energy region is increased by 20. Saboteur. 
Sentinel. S oh, I like to. I like to have this one. Cyphreak chosen. Yeah. Confirm. But again, I, I don't get it because in the beginning you choose your vitality, strength, intellect, and whatsoever. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, I hope. I'm not sure. Here's somebody with a troubled past. So that's drawn my. into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. Okay, cool. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. Uh. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. I'm dark red as in strength and power. Color me light blue for freedom and loyalty. Uh, yeah. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Yes. Seems more like you're being lightheaded, oh. if you ask me, but you'll come around eventually. But what comes around goes all the way back around. So it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. In your nature? And here I was hoping we'd be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest, and so forth. If that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. Natural selection is all about evolution and progress, and as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear! Okay. So, and... Does it matter where I'm going now? Do I have a map? I don't have a map. What is this button here? It's not doing anything. So, does it matter? I guess left can be right sometimes. Ah, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh it's starting already. Okay. okay, what can I do here? Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Okay. Oh! Ooh. Oh! This was um, unexpected. Phoenix flight, okay. Oh. Hunter sweep, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Carry. Oh. Too late. Wiper bite, okay. Come on, yeah. Oh. Better make a run for it. This okay. is not the time nor place to end this story. Now that's the beginning of the story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Okay, good. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Move towards an enemy to target them with melee attacks. Yeah, okay, I will do this. Aim the camera towards an enemy to target them with range attacks. Okay. To reload your range weapon, press RB. Okay. To use an ability, press the button. It's bound to while pressing and holding. Uh, okay. Okay, LT and Y. AI energy is used for dodging, using mutation and performing special attacks. When you are out of KI energy, you'll be unable to perform these actions, of course. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, okay. Oh. Absolutely drained. Okay, good. Come on. Okay. Do I get anything here? No. Nothing to pick up. Electric model. Okay. Weapon add-on. Attach it to your range weapon to give it an extra damage type for as long as the ammo lasts. Okay. Equip. To attach the special effect, select it through the consumable quick menu to open the menu hold. Okay, I will. Um, I'm holding. Okay, I can't. Okay, this is this one. Okay. Melee weapon. This is what I have at the moment. Oh, now I have a map. Very good. Gear. Okay, gear. So. Okay. This is a range PvP P boss blah blah. Oh my god. So what is this here? Okay, this is my So where can I now this attach that details? No. Inspect. Okay, so this is equipped. Okay, outfit automation. Outfits, okay. Oh, oh my god, I shouldn't be naked. Functions, who is this? Flashlight, okay. So I would say I have uh, equipped it, but I have no idea to be honest. Okay, let's move on. Medical bag. Ah, okay.
the oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, my God. Evolution has its ways. End it. So I found clink and a plank. Looting, okay. Of course I like to loot. Energy pack small. That's very good. What is this? Dangerous. So better... Oh, 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 oh! Okay. Better not. Can I take this one here? No. Oh, hello. Oops. That's not very nice. Energy pack medium. Dainty. Okay, this is all the stuff. Energy is full. Perfect. Nah, better not. Some enemies carry large shield. You need to break the shield with melee attacks before you can deal damage to the enemy. Okay. Oops. Go away. Go, go, go. Jump, 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 jump. Level up. Perfect. Okay, so level up. What does it mean, level up? Increasing attributes. When you level up, you can increase an attribute of your choice by 10. So. Because I'm going to be more more like this here, I need this. Yeah. Unlock the first special attack. Grain dance? What is a grain dance? Okay, cool. V, X, and R, T. Okay, go back. B, X, and R, T. Oh, it's getting better. That's good. Oh, that's not good. 
Look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. It looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Okay, good. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. this the morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed including you oh go away A beer lob, okay. Bio points. Can I use this now? Mutation tap to unlock psi power. Oh, okay. I have. Three okay, mouse moth mouse to use moth mouse press the input you have bound to ability. Okay, what's that? Okay, let's try this one. Your body could change. Okay, cool. Now I have this. Who needs a ladder? Oxen all built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single ark they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Puzzle. You found a puzzle. To switch which node is select use. Okay. Okay, there's a number of rotation you have left. The higher your intellect, the more moves you have. Okay. Each node has a certain position it must be rotated and to complete the puzzle. Okay, let's do it. Okay, what is this here? Ah, uh, okay. So, um,. No, let me do this. Just a few moves left. Make them count.
There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinor Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Hey, sounds familiar, huh? Okay, um, here. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. And for sure... Bolted shut. Of course. It's going uh, to okay. take a bit of puzzling to short-circuit the um. door. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There you go. Airstrike. Perfect countering an enemy attack will stun them. Okay. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. It's out of date. Why that? So what is this helping? Is this helping or not? You're empty of key. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark. A facial scar to remember the past. It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. There's no doubt you're the child and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. Yeah, you mawa. 
He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. The impending threat of the World Eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing as powerful as a Mooma's love. He understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the Potato People. <laughs> the Potato People, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. <laughs> The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Okay, glitter grass. Okay. Ruffle the glitter grass. Okay, so now I have a problem because I have no idea what a ruffle means. <laughs> what is a ruffle? Ah, okay. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. <laughs> You'll need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. <laughs> You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. <laughs> you handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. 
He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. <laughs> oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 20, 12 months to come, so countless, he'd say. <laughs> One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Okay. Interact. No, thank you very much. So what I... Yeah, what I really don't like at the moment is when you talk to guys like this, this... Uh, it takes so much time because you have this... Yeah, I don't know what the name is, but this uh, talking from the characters and then he has to translate it and it takes just ages. Um, I have to check the option menu later on. Maybe you can change this. Interact, okay. So that's the tree of life. Uh, what? It's not really big. I'm not sure. <laughs> Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. <laughs> From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. <laughs> One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Mooma will be able to protect us. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the World Eaters arrived. The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse that Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater, 
the Mekton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the Tribe War and the situation with the World Eaters. Okay, another world. New main quest. You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Finally we are out. Oh, okay, this looks really nice. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. By your mutant. Okay, hey, so what do we think from the beginning, from the game? So far, it's not too bad. It's also not very, very good. It's just a little bit over average, I would say. But I like to continue playing, of course. But in the next episode, okay? So I see you soon. Bye.